what did you say? <laughs> when I was growing up, one of the things or one of the words or what I did not want to hear from my parents, I don't know about you, was those words. What you say, boy? I don't know about you, but those words sent a chill effect through my spine because clearly at that moment, I knew I had said the wrong thing. This morning, I want to talk about this morning, what did you say? What did you say? Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning. It's Monday morning. Let's get at it. It's time for morning manna. Thank God for another week that we're starting, another work week that we're starting. And uh, man, I'm so thankful and grateful to share the word with you on this morning. And I want to kind of carry over from yesterday. Yesterday at New Life at my church, uh, we begin this whole series and we're talking about know God, know his word. And if you know God and you know his word, then you will know the power the purpose and the plan for God's word in your life, and there would be an outcome. There would be an outcome that would just increase your intentionality quotient and your intentional way of living. That's what we're dealing with uh, this month at New Life, and I want to carry that word over that I shared on yesterday. On yesterday, I just said, just say it. Just say it. That's kind of the overarching thing. Talking about the word, the power of God's word. And I want to just come at it a whole different kind of way this morning. So welcome, everybody. Glad that you're here. Uh, glad that you give me an opportunity to impart some words into your life. It's time for morning manna. I'm going to give you the text to talk. The takeaway, five minutes or less. Going to give you a text and then three things about the text and then a takeaway. And what I need you to do, what I need you to do this morning is to share the manner. Don't keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. If it blesses you, bless somebody else. If the word bless you this morning, bless somebody else. So uh, did you go to church on yesterday? What did a man or woman of God preach on yesterday? Give me one word, just one word. Put it in the chat area. Put it in the chat area, Anna, uh, Brenda. Uh, what did the man or woman of God, Celestine, what did the man or woman of God preach on yesterday that just empowered you? Just one word. Share that. Put it in the chat area. Now, before I get into the word, I want to tell you one other thing that you need to do. What I need you to do that uh, when you get a revelation, when you get a word, when something speaks to you, uh, just put it in the chat area because the cumulative areas or the cumulative things that uh, you share in that chat area, bless somebody else as we share it uh, along the way throughout the day. Here it is, the text to talk and the takeaway. This morning, we're dealing with talking about what you say, what did you say? I don't know about you, but I had parents that, man, that was a chilling effect. If you heard the, what did you say? Because you knew your words were not what they were supposed to be. Here's the text, Proverbs 18, 21. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat the fruit of it. Those who love it, those who understand that the words that tumble out of their mouths will eat the fruit, whether it's ripe fruit, not ripe fruit, or just flat out rotten fruit. Because anything that's ripe, is on its way to being rotten. So it's something that is coming into being. What are the words that are falling and tumbling out of your mouth? Here's the first thing that I want to share with you. Words reverberate. Put that in the text, uh, the chat area. Words reverberate. What do you mean by that? Do you not know that the sound from us making words, if you will, or voice intonation, that sound never dies. It reverberates continuously. And if you have the sensitivity equipment that was so sensitive, you could always hear a sound. A sound reverberates. It never dies. Now, here's the thing I want you to grab a hold of. What we do with sound is one of two things. We give sound a character we call letters, which turn into words. Or we give it a note which makes it music. Either way, sound carries throughout and it continues and it reverberates and be mindful, whatever that sound that you is, is never gonna stop because the second thing is this, it penetrates, it penetrates. 
Words can penetrate like nothing else. So let me tell you a story. I'll come back and finish up here. When I was young, my parents uh, made me go to uh, the integrated schools. This is right after the Supreme Court says that uh, unequal, uh, unequal um, is not constitutional. You know, to go and separate and unequal is not constitution, that we should integrate the schools. Well, my mom took that seriously. I went to an integrated school, and therefore, I had to deal with words from people who were not my melon that really penetrated me, that really penetrated me. And I realized that I still deal with that traumatic situation. Now, the wounds are gone, healed, but the trauma remains. I, rem I know that because this past couple Sundays ago, when I went to, um, went to the Civil Rights Museum, and as I was going through it, I came up to the integration part, uh, of school integration part, and tears flowed from my eyes. They flowed from my eyes. Why? Because that traumatic experience of those penetrating words from racist people still have impact to this day. Words penetrate, they reverberate. Here is the third thing, they also liberate. They also liberate. Oh my God, I give God praise that his word liberates. He says that you are the head and not the tail. He says you're at the front of the line, not the back of the line. He says greater are you, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He said that I'm going to do exceedingly abundantly more than you could ever ask or think by the power that works within you. He says that I gave my son for you, that you were bought with the price. Those are the words that liberate. Those are the words that liberate. So whenever I'm confronted with the words that penetrate it, that reverberate it, I think of the word of God that liberates. So what do you say this morning? <laughs> what you say matters. That's the takeaway this morning. What you say matters. So make sure you mind your words. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give you peace. If it bless you, bless somebody else. Share the manner. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. God bless you. Bye now.